For all of you who have worked in cyber, how many times have you heard this question? How did you get started in cyber? If you're anything like me, half the professional, half of this room is professionals currently working in this space, you've heard every version of this question. And it's valid. For many years, there's been no set path in getting into cyber. Everyone has come from different fields, different specialties, and as I found as an early job researcher, uh, the path is convoluted, to say the least. When asked this question, there was never a clear-cut way to answer it. Which of the incremental steps that I'd taken was worth bringing up? Which step was worth sharing? Today, I'm here to talk about a program that I did set for me, and which con continues to provide that step for women across the country. So I started pre-nursing <laughs> as a freshman in college. Uh, it's all the science and core classes that you take before you actually get to the nursing courses. Uh, I was very idealistic. I wanted to save the world and help people and be part of something greater than myself. It wasn't a bad choice, except that as I finished my first year and realized that I had to start a, a, the actual nursing courses, I realized three core things about myself. I don't like blood. I don't like bodily fluids. And I am useless when people are in pain. So, <laughs> nursing wasn't gonna do it for me. <laughs> So the next few years, I stumbled about trying to find where I fit, and it was not fun, because I was always the person with the plan. I f was finally fed up, desperate for applicable skills, and I signed up for an IT program, technical program, hoping to just get started in something. It was a bit of a turning point. Uh, it introduced, introduced me to technology and gave me some confidence, but it wasn't quite right, because the fun problems were all security. I was working with printers. Printers are not fun. <laughs> and I really wanted to work in security, so I started searching again. And that's when I found out about SANS. This may seem strange to anyone familiar with SANS, but I had no idea who they were. Uh, for anyone who was like me, SANS is an educational institution uh, that has trainings all over the world. As I was searching, I found that they had an immersion program, but I thought it was just another dead end, another hoax or false dream, but it wasn't. Actually, SANS launched, launched their inaugural year of the Women's Academy in 2016. The program gave women in the United States nearing the end of their college degree, who had not worked in cybersecurity before, the chance to take three SANS courses and three GX certifications and help place them in jobs. And the best part was it's a scholarship program. So I applied and I interviewed and I got chosen. And in July of 2016, I traveled to Salt Lake City and to, to take part in my first SANS course. There were 19 total participants in the US, and my cohort in eight, of eight met in Salt Lake. We spent one week in a conference room drowning in information and celebrating the fact that we had finally found our people. This was the first place where I felt like my enthusiasm wasn't stifled, or I, wasn't, I was told that I wasn't, I was too excitable. In fact, my questions and interests were encouraged. I was told to ask more questions, to dig further into problems, to find new ways to think about things. I felt like I was flying after years of really struggling to walk. Eight months later, I was a certified incident handler, I guess I still am, and a certified web application penetration tester. I secured a job through local uh, networking and completed my SANS course, and it was bittersweet. I was excited to see what would come next, but disappointed I was leaving the community that was so integral in my development. So when I was offered the chance to mentor the next group, I jumped at the chance. We had 23 participants in the second round of the Women's Academy, and they completed their program in the last month. It was really exciting to see these women go through the same program, some of who had just graduated college, some of whom had worked in technology for years, um, and were changing careers, put in the time and effort to get the certifications and land jobs. At this time, 15 out of the 23 are already employed. This moment, the moment that stands out to me the most, however, was when I met with the group the first night before their course and answered their questions before they started down this journey. When they looked at me, full of hope and anticipation and a little worry, and asked if this rabbit hole was worth going down, if the work of obtaining three time-intensive certificates in eight months was worth it, if this field could be a home from them, I found myself enthusiastically, emphatically, and a little emotionally stating, yes, this field is worth the work. It's worth the struggles, it's worth the time, it's worth doing. Because we are part of a larger community, we're part of a larger goal. And there's a little bit of the save the world mentality in each of us. Because we dream of a better and safer world. 
So if you know someone looking for cyber, if you know someone just graduating college or looking to change careers who has not worked in cyber before and is looking for a bit of a lift, point them to the Sands Women's Academy. Cyber is the right rabbit hole, and we are the future. Thank you.